Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, you would learn how to solve the practice problem sum palindrome. So first, let's understand the question. In this question, you would be given a number, let's say 23. Now, first step is to reverse it. That makes it 32. After reversing it, you need to add them together. So that is 23 plus 32. That makes it 55. Okay. Now, you can clearly see it's a palindromic number, right? palindrome so you if once you see if the output is palindrome you need to stop there but for example if this was not a palindrome and let's say it was 60 okay then what you had to do then you need to keep on repeating these steps again and again until it becomes a palindrome or more than five iterations have happened okay so there is a limit you can only repeat these steps five times in, in if those five steps it becomes a palindrome then it is fine it's okay but if it doesn't becomes a palindrome that means you can stop there because five iterations are over okay so i hope the concept is clear to you and now let's solve it so what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal in practice portal in the difficulty section choose school okay after choosing school find the problem some palindrome okay after finding the problem, you need to click on solve. Here is the problem. Let's read the statement. Given a number, reverse it and add it to itself unless it becomes a palindrome or number of iteration becomes more than 5. Okay. Now, we need to code it over here. Okay. So, let's start. Let's solve this question. Okay. First, let's say that I want num another number so it is integer value of what of the string n and you are taking it the reverse right you need the reverse of the given number as well because you need to calculate the sum right and the sum should be the original value plus the reversed value right so that is what is you are doing over here if now i am checking if both of them are equal or not if both of them are equal, then you can just return with n, okay? Else, okay? After this, after this, you need to apply the for loop, right? Because you need to check the palindrome, right? I in range of what? In range of 5, right? You only have 5 iterations. After 5 iteration, you don't have any more iterations, right? Then num equal to int. Again, you are calculating the same thing that you did above, right? You are calculating the reverse. Because it is mentioned, you need to keep on reversing it again and again. And again and again, you need to keep on adding as well. So, let me just copy this and paste it here. One minute. Okay. Next, A is initially 0. Then A is the sum, right? A is the sum of the two values. Then next, B. Okay. What is B? B is another integer one minute with the reverse value right you need to keep on reversing it again and again so reverse value if a is equal equal to integer of b this b is declared to check palindrome okay this b is created to check the palindrome okay this p is created to check the palindrome and this one this is you know five iterations you are specifying five iterations okay and over here you are doing that reversing and sum okay you are doing reversing and sum okay now let's continue integer of b because you are comparing right and then you need to return with a if they are correct right else if they are not correct you need to repeat the steps, right? Very good. After this, if this is not possible, right? Then you would just return with minus 1 because, you know, after 5 iterations are over, you still didn't get the result. And now to check if it is correct or not, I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. It is getting compiled. The compilation is over. And there is a mistake in my output. So let me check. So I made a number after that number was made in string I calculated with if okay after if return n for i in range 5 then number of integer 
then I am checking it with minus 1 that is reversal then a is equal to 0 then a is equal to num plus n and then you are doing it for b b is integer string of a so sorry it should be a and then you are reversing it and then you are checking the reversal one minute let's wait let's wait now okay so it is done and let me check if it's matching or not so you can clearly see my output is matching with the expected output so now I would submit the problem. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. The problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem sum of palindrome. So I hope this video was helpful for you and if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today. Thank you.